Theoretically, we're streaming. This is a test I'm doing to see if I can low effort produce a tutorial on the topic of how to use a custom knowledge base in Pose AI bots. So we're going to start using this app I'm showing on the left here called Poe. Poe is a collection of AI models that you can use interchangeably to achieve certain tasks. We're going to achieve a task today that is creating a Poe AI bot that you have specific knowledge that you want to give it that it can then give back to you for whatever purpose you may want. We're going to create a hypothetical bot that knows specific knowledge about three specific things I arbitrarily invented. One of them is I like dogs. I like golden retriever dogs. I especially like golden retriever dogs named Milo. Okay. The next is I have green clothes. Let's say arbitrarily I have five green pants and I have uh, some green shirts as well. And then the third thing I wanted to know, let me reference the document because I wrote this down because I'm arbitrarily making things up. Um, I like roller coasters and I rode one once and it was fun. So those are three things that I want a bot to have knowledge of so that when I use this bot, it knows what to say in those instances where that knowledge is needed. That's the entire premise of what we're going to do. It should only take about five minutes from start to finish because I've already made a text document containing those three facts. The, the dogs, the pants, the roller coaster. So what we're going to do is now start using Poe. I'm going to switch to a different little mode here. I'm still here. Hi. And I'm going to go over here to the Create Bot section. Yours probably looks similar if you're using Poe. The things on the left here we're not going to worry about right now. Those are old chats I've had with Poe bots. It creates an automatic title for them. But what we're going to do, in case you just missed it, is we're going to click the button that says Create Bot. We're going to get a few options. What kind of bot do we want to create? I don't know about your instance, but we're going to create a prompt bot, which means you're going to be talking back and forth with it via typing or some people can dictate to the bot. So we click that. It will ask you to put a picture. This is kind of an interesting first step because you haven't really given anything else to it yet, but let's go ahead and give it an image. I've created an image using a different AI within Poe. There it is. It's the same as this thumbnails video, uh, this video's thumbnail. We're going to name our bot. So I'm going to call this smart person experience. Oh, I guess I have to make it like dashes between it or something. Smart person bot fun. This is what we're writing as our, our, as our bot's title. You can name it anything you want. It's going to then move on to asking you what kind of base bot you're creating, meaning what is the bot's actual knowledge base, or sorry, language model going to be. We get the option of Claude 3 Haiku, and it's good enough, so keep it. Don't think any further. For the actual prompt your bot will have, you get to think a little bit about what you want this bot to feel like as it is being used. So, for example, I'm going to tell this bot it's prompt your an article writing bot that helps its user to write articles on topics the, they experienced in their own life. That's a very basic premise for what we're making a bot for. And I'm going to check right now to make sure I'm not obscuring too much of this. I am here. I'm over here now. Um, so now we're going to keep typing. You're an article writing bot that helps its user write articles on topics they've experienced in their own life. Reference the knowledge base
love not being able to spell knowledge. Um, with document titled, and I'm not putting anything in here yet because we're going to add this to the document um, knowledge base and then we're going to go back and type it in here so we know exactly what we added. And then we're going to finish this sentence in order to understand how to respond to specific questions or ideas. So that's broad, that last statement, but that's the point. We're just trying to clue this bot we're making. Hey, there's a thing that has additional info that when you don't know what to say, check it. In fact, bot, by the way, just always check it. So now we're going to go ahead and add that knowledge base that we said we're gonna add as a knowledge source. I'm using that word interchangeably, knowledge base, knowledge source. So add knowledge source is what we're going to click. We can drag or drop our text files in here or we can just type them and it will turn it into a text document. So perfect, we can do either one, but we're gonna select files. I'm going to go to my, where did I create the folder? There we go, adding a knowledge base. It's called important information simplified.txt. It's three sentences. Basically it says the I like golden retriever dogs, I like I have green clothes, and I rode a roller coaster once. That's basically what we just uploaded. And it's now processing that data to turn it into something it can easily reference in the future so it knows a little bit more about what it's in its database before it even needs it. And now we're gonna go and in here where we didn't type our document, we're gonna add it. So I'm just gonna copy paste it from this. So copy. And I'm gonna go right in here in between these two quotes and I'm going to select paste. And I'm gonna close the quote. Boom. And now we've created a knowledge bot that has information that we gave it and it doesn't have to be typed into this prompt about you rode roller coasters, etc. You can just make a prompt that then references knowledge in a database. There is a reason that's really useful, and that is because you can make a base prompt that's a really good bot, and it gets good at anything you give in its knowledge base. So you can make a super prompt, and it can be used to make a thousand different types of bots depending on what's in its knowledge base, and all you had to do was change what's in the knowledge base, not what's in your major prompt. So it can save a lot of time by kind of hot swapping stuff. You get to add a, we're now moving on, you get to add a greeting message, which is, hi, let's make something great. That's how I start them. But that's up to you how to do it. And then you can fill out a bio, but because mine isn't public, I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna go ahead and say this helps people write articles. Okay. Make the bot publicly accessible. Why not? That way you can try this later. Bot recommendations I'm not interested in. And that's it. Create bot. Once it's created, we're going to test it. This helps people write articles. Help me write an article. an article about something really fun and novel. What will it do? It seems like you have a thrilling story to share about riding a roller co Wow, it surmised and guessed pretty well based on my arbitrary suggestion. And you notice it has these little things here. These are the citations for where in its knowledge base it's getting these thoughts. So you were able to kind of guess and check its work. If you click one, it will show you. In the whatever here, it's showing you the, the way it found the data is all being able to be traced is really what you're seeing. So that's about it. We've made, a, you, we've made a bot now. It has knowledge on a thing. There's really not much else. I hope you have a good time because from here you can take it a million places. You know, like I said, you make one good prompt, 
change that knowledge base, you can put 20 different files in that knowledge base at once. You've got a totally different output from your bot. Have a good time, and I hope Poe is rewarding for you.